Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. I am Jordan Strack. We are over at Northview High School tonight for the NLL semifinals in girls basketball. The Cats hosting Perrysburg. We'll get to those highlights in just a moment. But we start with a first place showdown in the MAC on the women's side. Bowling Green and Kent State are 1 2 right now in the conference. This game just huge for seeding in the MAC tournament with just a few weeks to play and what a game it was. It would go to overtime, tied at 76, just over a minute to go. The freshman, Nyla Hampton, the steal going the other way, drops it off to Claire Gloniak. She knocks it down, the Falcons go up by two. 10 seconds left now, Falcons down by one. Off a timeout, Lexi Fleming drives. Her shot, no good, but Angela Perry is there for the rebound and the putback. Bowling Green takes a one point lead with two seconds left. So. Kent would get the final look at this thing, and it's a good look. But watch Nyla Hampton coming in to swat it away. Bowling Green in first place. They win it 80-79. to I mean, it's huge. It's, it's really big in our program. I mean, just being able to find ways to win when a lot of things don't go your way um, really leads to belief, you know, and being able to, to grind it out. I and mean, we had just so many... So many people step up in different ways. I think of Madison Parker's charge. I think of free throws down the stretch. Um, we had some big steals in overtime, just, um, but we had to grind it out. And um, I was really proud of our team for keeping their composure. The UT women struggling, likely will not play in the MAC tournament this year, hosting Buffalo tonight, first quarter of this one. In transition, Sophia Wired up ahead to Quenisha Lockett. She drives to the basket, weaves her way through. She gets the layup to go. And then later, Rockets moving it around, wired again, dishing to Lockett. This time in the corner, knocks it down from deep. She led the way with 21 for Toledo. But Buffalo would just be too much down the stretch in this one. Get it to go here. Rockets lose their fifth in a row, 82-73. They drop to 8-9 overall. All right, back here to Northview, one of the two semis in the NLL this year. Cats welcoming in at Perrysburg, and this thing was all Northview from the start. Taylor Stacy hit five threes in the first half alone. They hit eight as a team. She finished with a team high 23. Perrysburg trying to stick around. Kylie Griggs down to Morgan Featherston. Great finish there in the paint, but Northview was just relentless. In transition, throw it up ahead to Kelsey Leamy. She is open in the corner, and she would drill a three ball, and they would just keep coming on the defensive end. Watch Casey Baumar steps in the passing lane. She had 22. Northview wins 70 to 56. Napoleon also won tonight, so it's Napoleon Northview for the league title on Friday night. And it is so good to see Michigan Winter Sports back in action. First game of the season for Bedford and Monroe. First quarter, Trojans working it around. Down low to Macy Palicki. She gets the easy lay in. Monroe was leading early, but the Mules would get things going. The inbound pass to the corner from Madison Wyrick. She launches it from deep. Gets a three ball to fall. And then the Mules on the fast break. Peyton Podlowski, great find to the streaking Sophia Gray. She finishes for two. Bedford wins at 55-46. Couple final notes. Natasha Howard, the Wade High School grad, has been traded to the New York Liberty in the WNBA. She was exchanged for the number one overall pick. Also, the high school hockey state brackets are out, and St. Francis is the number one overall seed. If you'd like to look at that bracket, you can head over to my Twitter page. And as ever sports.